Alright, so what's better? This one? This one. Most suspended, most late, Rico Robles. Is it pasaway? Hey, what's up, monsters? It's Rico Robles. You know how we do it. I started here May 2001. It's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, one thing I'm proud about is that I only started here. I, uh, I never been to any other radio stations. That I've been here for that long and I'm homegrown. Like, they trained me here from day one up to now. I'm well, you know, I got started here. So I was like trying to holler at this girl, right? So when I was hollering at this girl, she was a DJ here, and all of a sudden they got an opening. So I'm like, shorty, let's go get it. I auditioned uh, because I visited the girl, and then the DJ then was on board, and they said they were looking for a jock. And I said, okay, maybe I could try it. What do you have to do? I mean, I'll, if you teach me, I will learn. And they said, yeah, and I'm like, Cool, where do I sign? It's as simple as that. Oh yeah, you know, they interviewed me in a way that uh, they told me, can you play music? What kind of music you into? I mean, you always gotta talk hip hop. And I'm like, I cool, got you. And then I showed them my skills. Cause I was coming from television then. So, so yeah, and then I made a transition. Now with radio, you can't just wing it. You know, you have to come prepared. You can't just be cute, smile. And then in comes the research. You have to really research and prepare for your for your shows. And and that's what I've come to learn. You, know, you have to find the information yourself. And of course, you have to make sure that you're credible. So that's what's, uh, that's a serious side. <laughs> so it makes me nervous because uh, in a way, I might be an extrovert if you see me out. I guess that means I'm out. But then um, I'm really just an introvert dude at home. Like if people come to know me, that's if you saw me on PBB, I was really quiet. And people were like, why are you not talking? You're a DJ. And I'm like, I'm a really quiet person. But then when I turn it on, I have to, then then that's what I do. I mean, I'm out, I Kanye it out, I call it. And then, but then when I have to really just be chill, I'm just a chillin' dude. My first show is called Backseat. So, that was my first show and it had a really funny, funny commercial because it, it was a guy and a girl moaning in the background and it was like keeping you hot while you drive home, the back seat. And I remember our bosses called like, what the hell is that playing? And then and they, I, I'm the pinaka pasaway dito. If you guys are trying to, to put an, ako yung pinaka pasaway sa monster. Laging, I always get in trouble always and it comes to kalokohan. So yeah, and that was first off the bat, the back seat. My partner there was Yvette. Uh, she's no longer here. So, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a prime time show. Um, was, one thing that I learned too when I first started here is production. So I just watched all of them produce. So I was like, Uy, okay, so I'm gonna learn that. So, and, and I made my own ad, I remember that. And I remember the volume levels are so bad. But, but yeah, it was, we wrote it. The thing here that I love about here at The Monsters, you have 100% creative freedom. So, and that's what we get to express, which is really, really cool. Well, every day is an embarrassing moment, man. Um, and every day I just learn to laugh at myself. And we all laugh together because again, uh, when I step out of my house, it's actually not me. Um, you will get a part of me, but it's not really 100% me. So my real friends and people out there that are watching, you know how it is. And so it's, it's, it's a different, uh, different alter ego altogether that you watch and you listen to every day. So, well, you know, one thing about being a monster truck that I love is that, you know, um, everybody's down to help everybody um, at any time, any given day. And we don't have bosses, so we have our family. You know what I mean? Um, this is the only place that I remember when, when I got offers from other stations. I was like, this is the only place where I could text the president, the vice president, um, the big bosses, and go, hey, you guys want to get a beer? They're like, sure, let's go get a beer. I'm like, let's go get it. And, and that's what I love about it. Um, because anytime I could talk to them and, and actually get a straight evaluation of how I am doing, even on a day-to-day -day basis. And here, we have that open line of communication, which is always great. Okay, one, one best love advice that I've ever gotten 
other than of course uh, focus on your work and <laughs> keep your eye on it is is from Sir Chito uh, Sir Chito Barrero he's our president he did tell me that um, kapag is in Tagalog okay kapag may maliit ang kumot dapat bumalokto meaning that if the blanket is short you have to make an adjustment so love is like that you have to adjust for each other if you guys are not gonna or not willing to adjust then it's not gonna work out uh, so Rafi Binaman told me no matter what happens no matter where you are you always got us so from the beginning of my career up to now and they would always just be there you know what I mean and it's different when people tell you oh, I'm just here and it's different when you know they're there it's like I want to be able to provide entertainment for the frontliners and for those that are on the field. So we took it to a point, good thing they didn't allow me to, well, they wanted me to stay at home at first, but then I wanted to really board because it, it had gave me that drive as, as a nurse, you know, uh, to, I could do this as a radio DJ. And then we went out there and did interviews, as many celebrities as we can, uh, until the schedule could be filled, you know, being our main goal is because I know that people wanted to talk and share how they feel, but they didn't have a platform to say, to say it. Now, why not use radio? And since we're here anyways, and that's what I love about having 100% creative freedom here at The Monster, is that our bosses are supportive. Sabi lang nila, as long as ano, ha, kaya ninyo, ha, game. You know, and, and that's as cool. So I come to learn from Jude Rocha, he's no longer here. Uh, he always told me to keep my eye on the ball. Now. Uh, Delamar and Chico, um, what I learned from them is that what the ball was. I didn't know what the ball was through the years. I keep your eye on the ball. What the hell is the ball? Now when, they, when Delamar goes, it's your show, fool. And I'm like, that's right. Keep your eye on your show. And then Louis D, what I learned from him is always have fun. You know, always smile regardless of, of how your day is. If you're having a bad day when you go to work and you turn on that mic, smile and have fun. When it's no longer fun, then that's when you stop doing. Uh, what I learned from Rafael Reyes is that uh, come prepared, don't wing it, you know, um, because someone out there is always smarter than you. So don't think you know it all. And, and that humbles me a lot. Every day, that every day is always a challenge. Uh, for the newer jocks, I would share with them always to protect your credibility. Um, that's something that from the beginning of your career until the end, uh, that you have to carry. Uh, once your credibility is gone, you will, you will have a hard time uh, and to nearly impossible of making it. And then one, two, um, always come prepared. You know, don't say, don't think, you know it all already. Always be willing to learn every day. And, and that's the main thing. And, and every hard work will pay off. But again, at the end of it all, ask yourself why you got started. Why do you want to get into radio? You know, if you want to be famous, you could do that elsewhere. When the term digital was coming about, um, it was sort of like a shock, but then for us, it was more, or like for, for the other jocks that I was with, parang, I'm a TV-ready guy, you know what I'm saying? So always, they always been craving for that. And that got me excited and also challenged. And the thing there is, I'm not a computer-savvy guy, so you have to somehow learn it. Like, I'm on TikTok now for crying out loud. I'm not dancing yet. No, not yet, but hey, I'm trying. But yes, what I learned from that is you always have to evolve. Um, if you've noticed through the years, I've always reinvented, you know, from, from the heartthrob DJ when I was first starting to becoming a boxer, to becoming a chismoso, uh, to becoming, well, now I'm cooking, so I don't know if you can do that on radio. Um, and then just, just, just doing everything under the sun. Um, you, the only limit that you have is yourself. So here, it's like, it's limitless. You could be anything and any, anyone that you want to be. It was one of the RX anniversary parties. I was giving away an Ariana Grande ticket. And then Ariana Grande's DJ and dancers were there partying. So they ended up DJing with us, which is dubs. What's up, man? And also the dancers ended up partying with everybody. Chico and everybody from the Monster. We were over at Valkyrie. So that was memorable too. That was cool. Hey, what's up, monsters? It's Rico Robles. I love you from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea. You guys are the longest relationship I've ever had. And I would like to keep it that way forever and ever. All right, so thank you guys always. And until then, at Rico Robles Live.